Hey, today we're doing a bit of work on a 1970 Ford Fairlane and it's got the C4 transmission. Linkage is a pretty slop unit and he's got an oil leak somewhere. Sometimes these things will lose transmission fluid and there won't be a visible oil leak. So what actually happens, we've got this this hose here, uh, what's he done? It should have a dedicated vacuum hose to the manifold. He's put a little two-piece off it there. Uh, what can happen, the va vacuum modulators leak and it'll suck the oil through your inlet manifold and out your exhaust so you won't know where the oil's going. So we'll check that out at the bottom as well. And it's also important to make sure these hoses are proper vacuum hoses, otherwise they will collapse. If they're too, uh, too thin-walled, they'll collapse and you won't get vacuum to the transmission. Quickly, I'll just pull the, uh, suck the oil out of the transmission there. Makes it a little bit less messy. You can see the oil getting sucked up there. When it starts to jump around, you know it's sucking a bit of air as well. So it's, it should be out. Make sure it's pushed right down. Sometimes it hits the, the valve body. Yeah, like that. So I'll try and make sure you get as much out as you can. It's got the C4 transmission. This is actually a C4, you can see it filler tube pushes into the case instead of into the pan and he's got a bad oil leak somewhere uh, not on the extension housing sometimes they can suck oil out through the modulator vacuum modulator so you got to check that as well and it looks like the selector seals leaking on it you can see it's a little bit a little bit clean on the on the bottom there I'll just get the torch. So there's been a little trail of oil leaking through there. This is engine oil. So rear main. And probably that pan gasket as well. But you can see his linkages are pretty worn. That bush is half gone. And there's no bush over here. So it's a bit hard to select select the right gears with it. Diff's got a bit of a leak as well. Universal joints seem okay. So it's pretty grimy and dirty, oily, so I'm just going to give this one a quick pressure wash before I start working on it. Now I've got the pan off and to get the get access to that selector shaft seal we've got to pull all this out. So we've got to actually lower the valve body. We just take off all these larger 716 bolts out, or 38, sorry. These ones. And also when you're taking the filter off, just make a note that there's a little valve and a spring. The valve goes up into the valve body and the, the filter just pushes that spring up. So don't lose that either. Two bolts on the on the valve body, so I'll just let that oil drain down a little bit, less messy. Now I've got the linkage, and I'm just going to make up a little nylon bush that presses into there, and I'm just going to make a little step in there as well, so the outside will be a bit wider, and then I'll step it to that side so it can't fall out. Just scrap a bit of, bit of nylon there. off 
and now you can see you can actually see that flex bands pretty worn or out of adjustment the front ones the intermediate bands they also come with a, a solid band which is um, a different band adjustment on it and you have the low and reverse or the rear band and they're a, a double wrap band and now we can see where that selector linkage nut is that one there so I'm just going to take off that, that one there is the kick down and the other one's that shaft so I'm just going to pop that off slide that, slide that off undo the little half inch nut on the in, outside slide that out and then I can gain access to that seal again it was 7 8 and we can slide that on there and we'll just undo that nut and then that can just slide out got the kick down linkage off and now we can slide that kick down linkage that way and we can just undo that There we go, and that can just slide out, you can see it just slides out there. You just got to make sure you sort of put this back on when you're pushing it back in. There's a linkage, that's where the seal runs on there, and on the inside the kick down rod has got like a little o-ring we'll place that as well. Linkage out, you can just slide this out then. There's a little bit more room for it to slide out. There we go, now we can see the seal. When you're popping that seal out with a screwdriver, just make sure you don't damage that housing. Okay. Seal's out. We're just going to knock another one back in. Just flush, flush with the housing there. Okay, Let's see it properly. Put it on, just make sure you push that shaft in and the nut and then you can slide that other linkage through. Replace the little dough ring for the kick down. The valve body back on. You've got this little kick down rod there. That has to be lined up and also the selector has to go in that slot there. If you've got that in, I've just got this valve body on loose. I've only got two bolts in and I'm just making sure I can you can actually see the selector linkage through there but the other one the kick down you want to make sure you can feel the detent you can see my hands just springing there you can feel the detent on that um, valve there so you want to make sure that's on it is very easy to to miss a line put the linkages back on um, I've marked the front band where it's been and the rear band and just adjusted them up. On our chart there, the flex band with the coarse thread 10 inch pound, which is a front, front band, 10 inch pound, back off one turn. If it had the fine thread like on the C10s, the uh, pan filled transmissions, it's back off three turns. And the low and reverse is 120 inch pound back off one and a half turns so what happened this one here this one went in two turns so that tells us it's a little bit worn um, and the rear one went in three turns put this little valve in that just pushes into that hole there and the little valve on the end or the little plunger on the end goes into the valve body so what I like to do I just put one bolt loose in here push that in and then I can just rotate the filter just to hold it up there till I get the rest of it in filters there are two different types or probably more actually there's ones with a little snorkel on them as well in the Ford Mavericks these ones have this here for that little valve sometimes they don't have that little valve it's just a normal filter but what I've noticed if you if you see if you push push the filter that way it's actually going to have a little hole there 
So just make sure you put all the bolts on first and I'm going to pull it, pull the filter as far as I can this way so it's actually sealing up that little hole there. As you go along just make sure you check everything. I've gone around and checked all the bolts all done up. Make sure the selector nuts done up properly. Uh, the little nut on the on the kick down there is on and that there is detent. You'll feel it bringing back. Uh, the selector you can test as well. You can see that the, the spring there is jumping up and down as well. Make sure that's lined up properly. Bands are adjusted. Pop off that hose on the modulator. I'm just going to blow it out a little bit first. Just make sure the modulator is not leaking and that the hose is on isn't perished or uh, got a hardened or anything like that, that it is sealing properly. And we can put the pan back on. Just make all the, make sure all the gasket bits are removed. These, these bits will be on the gasket, um, but because this one's uh, the filler tube comes through the case, you want to make sure that that bit's broken off here and that as well. Okay, linkages are all back on. I made two little bushes there. You can see that one there. Oh, there we go. A lot less sloppy. Check the modulator hose. It's not leaking. Everything's back together. It is sloppy a little bit up there on the selector where the adjuster is. You can see that moving around a bit. But this, just replacing these two bushes will be a great improvement anyway. Okay. You can put the car down, fill it up with oil, and check the oil level with the motor running at operating temperature. Transmissions originally took the Dextron 2 or Type D, but Dextron 3 is good enough as well. Four litres went into it, eight pumps, so I'm going to take for a run now and check the oil level at operating temperature. From the test run, and you can see it's right on the top mark there. So, showing you how to uh, do the band adjustment and fix the linkages and service on a C4 transmission. Thank you for watching.